Hello everybody, welcome to Raising Vibrations and you're with Simon today. So today's video, we are going to look at the Sun entering Aries. We're going to look at what that means for us. We've got a Jupiter, a Mercury and a Neptune conjunction, all in Pisces. We've got Mars and Venus sitting all there in Aquarius and about to make its connection to Saturn, which is a big deal. So we're going to talk about how to process through that and what that means for us. And of course, just kind of getting an overall sense of what the energy is reflecting to us right now and how can we best utilize the nature of uh, the stars at the moment for our deeper spiritual, psychological and emotional um, processing, well-being, you know. So first things first, of course, we are now with the sun in Aries, which is a really big deal. And for those of you that are in the Southern Hemisphere, of course, you are now entering a phase of going into autumn, whereas here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're coming into the energy of spring. So um, what generally tends to happen when the sun enters any cardinal sign, which would be Aries, uh, Capricorn, Libra, or Cancer, which is the four points, we experience change. Okay, and this is something that is, you know, not really difficult to, to kind of observe. We notice that there are these four cycles that are initiated by change. And so when you look at signs like Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, and Libra, if you have this in your chart, like you've got lots of Libra, you've got lots of Aries, you know, lots of Cancer archetypes, know that there is a, an initiation of change that has taken place in your emotional journey of your soul and that whatever reason those changes are occurring in your life or why you go through changes they are obviously reflecting a deeper storyline so that's what happens when we experience planets and um, the sun move through cardinal signs okay so my immediate sense of the alignments at the moment is that there is a very strong drive, right, for, or should I say it this way, there's a very strong energetic drive to put attention and focus on things that really are important and real for you, okay? There is a very strong energetic um, pattern right now that really what it's actually doing is it's there's duality, there's a there's an energy that is pulling away from the past and there is an energy that that is initiating that pulling away from the past that is pulling us into a new direction, a new pattern, okay? So what you want to do to be able to anchor in this is to take a moment and reflect on what is happening in your life right now and where can there be changes that you can make within your day-to-day -day routine or your perception of things or um, choices that you would like to uh, pursue, right? Where would you see that change could benefit you? That'd be kind of the question, all right? What could you change in your environment that would move you in a different direction very slowly, but could overall support something that is coming from a deeper place within you? that you want to do, that you want to fulfill, that you want to participate in, that you want to be um, creative with, okay? So take a moment to sit and reflect on your emotions and to notice where you feel that you're pulled into something that may be a little bit scary, but you want to do, right? And you maybe hold off for a bit. Maybe you've always told yourself that doing this means whatever storyline that prevents you from doing it. So this is an opportunity right now to see that there are many changes that are taking place. And I'm sure many of you at this point have experienced quite a lot of Mars, Venus in Aquarius eruptions, just kind of out of nowhere, there's this intense emotional flurry of, of uh, experience that overwhelms your, your senses and your neurokinetics and you're kind of, you know, just being really present with a lot of feelings and emotions. Um, and 
that is coming to the surface, which I'll, I'll address. But coming back to this idea of what is it in you that you can change? Okay, so that's that's kind of how to utilize this sun in Aries energy, right? Something wants to come forth. Well, bring it forth. Create some space. This can be something as silly as, you know, you know what? I don't give myself enough space to do the thing I love, which is painting. To, you know, I've been really reflecting on this sense of feeling stuck in somewhere in my life. And I really want to change that. I don't know how to do that. Well, this is an invitation with this energy to take, to lean into exploring further what that would mean, right? Maybe it's changing a new, changing job. Maybe it is um, deciding to do the thing that you know you've been putting on the back burner for a long period of time and now the time is to just jump in, right? That's the, that's the essence of this energy right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the chart and I'll show you what is occurring within the context of uh, the cosmos. Okay, dokie. So here we have the chart of today, which is the 22nd of March, 2022. The sun is now officially at one degrees of Aries, as you can see there. And if we go ahead and click on the sun itself, let's see what it's doing. So at the moment, the sun is just making a trine to the moon. Yeah, 25 degrees of, Cap uh, of Scorpio, pardon me. So this will be a very fleeting experience. By tomorrow, this trine will not be in place. But there we have the trine over there. So this energy here, this Chiron Sun conjunction, here's what's going to happen. Okay. The sun's going to come in and it's going to say, here is an area of reality and life, or a passage, if you'd like to see it that way, that I'd like to illuminate. This, this archetype, I'd like to illuminate it. So when I talk about um, giving yourself space to action the things that you A, want to do, B, have been putting aside for whatever reason, and that you know that if you did it, you would benefit from actioning it, right? You would, you would uh, develop an emotional and psychological relationship to that thing that you find meaning in, you feel love towards, that you desire in some way, this is, this is the time to let that passage of Aries archetype like move you into, push you over the edge into that space and to experience the thing that oftentimes we don't allow ourselves to do. So initiation, right? And what will come with this process is an anxiety of separation. And of course, anxiety of separation is essentially just two things. One, it is the fear of the unknown or the unfamiliar. And it is your brain giving you feedback, telling you, hey, I've not actually developed any um, language or perceptions around what to expect. And so we oftentimes don't allow ourselves to do things that you know, help us grow because we're afraid of the unknown. Okay. So in any way that is in your reality, in your world, let this energy lead you to the thing that matters to you, okay? Whatever it may be. You know, it's, it's, it's such a wide and diverse audience. I can't specifically speak to one, but if you reflect on what it is that's inside you that you know if you pushed a little bit further in that direction or you pushed yourself a little bit further or you allowed yourself to, to initiate something or you know, be bold in a way where you haven't been before, this is the time, okay? So as it moves closer to Chiron, what's going to happen is, is that we're going to experience an energetic sensitivity. And very briefly, this energetic sensitivity has to do with our um, wounding around feeling castrated, right? The inability to, to believe that you can free yourself from your own limitations. I guess one tagline here. So the question as the sun approaches Chiron over the next couple of days is that we will start to become progressively sensitive and aware of emotional experiences that we carry on our energetic body where we feel limited by something, we're blocked by something. And it's very important, this transit, because it's going to reveal a lot about how uh, Saturn over here 
is currently aspecting the nodes. So if I click on Saturn, you can see there that we've got um, Saturn at 21 degrees and we have the nodes sitting at 23, okay? I'm gonna, I'm busy creating a video right now that will illustrate this furthermore. But essentially this pattern will be for us throughout 2022. And we will dance between two states. One of um, recognizing what attachments we carry that are fundamentally disempowering to us or are, um, yeah and where we can cultivate and nurture and uh, develop deeper self-resilience, self-reliance, and self-leadership. And you'll hear me talk about this throughout all my videos going forward, because this is something that is really important with that Saturn square. So Aries coming into, Sun coming into Aries initiates um, the potential for new beginnings. And in the backdrop, in a deeper, more peripheral outskirt, perception of reality the saturn is what is lurking there saying hey where do you still have fundamental um like blocks emotional blocks that you carry rooted from your past rooted from previous experiences that prevent you from you know, moving forward in a direction you know, where do you still maybe hold some shame some guilt some um some judgments right judgments on things okay so if we look here, freedom is the key word with that Saturn uh, throughout 2022. So if we look here to this Venus archetype, if can see Venus is 15 degrees, Uranus is 12. This aspect has been developing or has been reflecting to us uh, the need for change in our in our, in our internal world and the way that we relate to the external world. Okay, this is pretty deep. So I want you to see yourself as an object and I want you to see yourself in relation to other objects, other objects being other people, other objects being your work, uh, the dynamics of the world. We all have an interpersonal relation between ourselves and the way that we then project that relationship onto the object world. That is Venus. It is the way that we relate to ourselves and then through that relation to the outside world and how we um, define that outside world in relation to our own inner landscape, our own inner experience. So the square between Uranus and Saturn has been resulting in a lot of emotional shocks coming to the surface around certain values that you may hold about the world, about yourself, about life. And these shocks would come to the surface and you'd be quite surprised because you would get a sense of, huh, oh, I didn't really know that this, is, this was here or this is how I felt about that or this is how I related to that. So here, this square is inviting a deep observation and um, recognition of what values you may still hold within yourself that either propel you to grow in the way that you want to grow, or it is um, preventing you from pushing through boundaries, inner psychological and emotional boundaries that you have with inside of yourself, you know, how you perceive the world and how you then place that in the world, how you place it in your life. And you use that as a way unconsciously to stop yourself from doing the thing that you know you want to do, whatever that may be, right? Again, the range is up to you. Whatever you are identifying within yourself, as you hear me say this, what is it in you where you could say, huh, the way I relate to this causes X, Y, Z. And here's how I can objectify that experience and say, hmm, is this serving me or not, right? Is this serving my way of achieving deeper goals or bigger dreams or what do I want to achieve, right? Or what am I trying to do with my life? So that Venus square Uranus is rattling the cage and saying, come on, come on, like start to pay attention to these things, right? Now Mars comes along, as you can see, sitting at 12 degrees and Uranus is at 12 degrees. So it's exact today. And this is shock and awe, okay? This is rapid change. So it's like pushing this, this energy and it's saying, ha, huh, like 
who are really focusing on bringing things to the surface for us that we need to process through that we may have not in the past known they were there or repressed for whatever reason. And again, with the South Node being in Scorpio, the theme is uncovering and exposing deep emotional memories that hold us back from pursuing the things or doing the things or living the way that you feel is empowering to yourself. So this combination of energy at the moment speaks to our ability to free ourselves from pre-existing emotional, psychological, and inner relationship structures that no longer serve a deeper purpose, whatever that may be. Now, to end this all off here, yeah, Jupiter, Mercury, Neptune conjunction sits in Pisces. And this is a this is a massive conversation to have. Like I can't condense this in, in a short period of time, but in in the way, like the word I want to use here for this is we the the the, the Mercury Jupiter is in a new phase. So it's it means that our capacity to form new perceptions is available and ready for us right now. Right? Mercury's crossed Jupiter, and now what we are in is a gathering phase. So when you hear me say something like, what is the thing that is meaningful for you? What is it that brings you inspiration? What is it that brings you creativity? What is it that opens you up to deeper realms of spiritual experience? Well, pursue that, follow that, allow yourself to be led by that, okay? That Jupiter, Mercury, Neptune allows for our capacity to... Uh, lean into those experiences. On the contrary, this entire chart, this entire energetic energy seen through a negative lens is crisis, chaos, destruction, trauma, uh, tension, and how are we ever going to get out of this? Like that, that's the polarity of this chart at the moment. And so the invitation I leave you with in this conversation today is the capacity to see that what is it that you can do internally for yourself that makes a difference according to your value structures? Okay, so I really hope that, of course, provided you with some context of what is occurring in the stars at the moment. We are entering a new um, passage of time where there is a potential, there's a possibility to tap into this very primordial energy that comes from Aries. It's kind of leaning into something pushing us into something and so what do you want to lean into what do you want to start that's fresh that just never been done before or that you have done it in the past but you put it on the back burner and now it's time to step into actioning choosing making choices that allows you to move in that direction to give yourself the small little space or big space to do the thing that lights up your heart that that creates a sense of of um, fulfillment, okay? Remember I talked about that with the Mercury, Neptune, and Jupiter conjunction in Pisces. All right. Okay, as always, guys, it's very important. Let the algorithm know that this video was valuable. Share it to everybody that you think is gonna benefit from it. Hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't. And one little small announcement, just wanna make quickly. For those of you that are still wanting to study astrology, we've actually got, um, open for registration uh, it's just for a few days for up until friday and if you want to learn more and read more about joining and studying astrology with me down below in the description is a link you can go check that out and it's only open we've only opened it for for a few days but yeah if you're curious you want to study with me um, down below is a link and click that and all the information will be there to join us all right okay everyone have an amazing day till next video Bye bye